Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Wivs from Slidenerd here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make a dialogue fragment using Android Studio. Now we have already discussed about this in my previous video. If you guys haven't seen that, please go back and check it out. So here in Android Studio, I have nothing great, just a main activity which is plainly empty over here. If you go to its appearance, which is activity underscore main dot XML, all you see is a button which says show dialog. And there is an on click attribute which calls the method show dialog inside our main activity right here when the user clicks the button. So inside this method, I'm gonna write the code that is going to display the dialog. But first, what about creating it? Very simple. Right inside the same package, slidenet.vivs, I have my my dialog here, which is nothing but a plain old Java class that extends dialog fragment. Now don't worry if you see this error over here, actually everything is fine, but still Android Studio is showing something as an error. Now let's go down and start writing code. But before that, let's take a look at the UI of this particular dialog. If you go to my dialog here, it's nothing but a relative layout, a text view with something like do you like this dialog, there's a dismissive action which is no button here with id as no, and there's an affirmative button which says yes and the id as yes. So first, what we need to do is bring this appearance from XML, link it with our my dialog class here in Java. For that, I'm gonna use the method called onCreateView. So inside this onCreateView, all like I need to do is simply say return inflator, which is our layout inflator object. I'm gonna say inflator dot inflate. We need to specify two parameters here. The first parameter is the name of the XML file. That contains the description of our dialogue's appearance. Second parameter here is not needed at all, so I'm gonna pass null. Now, for those of you who are curious about this null here and the others who have been watching all the time, going container and false and instant, I'm putting null here. The reason is the dialogue fragment is a completely separate window from your main activity, so you don't need to have the view group parent passed over here. Now, if you guys are not sure how this inflate method works, Please go back in my playlist and check the video on the layout inflator. I have dedicated two videos just to explain how this method works over there. So you'll understand everything about this method after watching that video. So coming back to this, this is going to link our appearance to our dialog and all we need to do now is handle the button clicks inside our dialog. But first let's go ahead and show this out and see how things look. So going to our main activity of Java, inside the show dialog method, how should I show this dialog? What we need is a fragment manager first. I'm gonna say fragment manager is get fragment manager. Then we simply need to make an object of our dialog, which is my dialog here. So I'm gonna say my dialog. My dialog is new my dialog. Initialize that perfectly. All we need to do now is say my dialog dot show two parameters. First, either the manager or the transaction, and second parameter as the string that you're assigning right now so that you can refer to the dialog later by saying find fragment by tag or something. So here I'm gonna pass manager that we have, second parameter will simply say something like my dialog like this and that is pretty much it. Just run this and you should see the dialog on the screen. So now if you say, if I say click show dialog over here and there you go it says do you like this dialog and as you guys can see there is no and yes but this probably looks a little blank here at the top side and plus if you click this dialog nothing happens but if you click outside the dialog is disappearing right so let's try to find out what can be done about that so go to my dialog here inside the on create there is something that we can do to avoid the dialog being cancelled that can be done by saying set cancelable equals to false the next thing we need to do is bring those two buttons that is our yes and no button inside our java code perform the appropriate imports and we should be done with that now here let me split this into st two statements by saying view view equals to whatever this inflator stuff was and then return the view the reason i'll do i'm doing this is because i will use this view to find the button and i mean the yes and the no button so i'm gonna say view dot find view by id r dot id dot yes and r dot id dot no so let me I'll go ahead and finish both of them here now if you guys are using a dialog here remember one thing very carefully we have to ensure that we don't have an on click attribute inside our dialog the reason is this on click attribute in the dialog is going to expect things to be inside your activity and that is not going to happen so what we are going to do here inside our my dialog is 
implements the view dot on click listener by saying view dot on click listener and then implement the appropriate method click OK and inside this we can simply determine which button was clicked by saying view dot get ID we could say something like if view dot get ID equals equals R dot ID dot yes that means the yes button was clicked in which case we can put up a toast message maybe by saying toast dot make text so at this point if you guys notice I have implemented my on click listener there are uh, two statements here that say set on click listener for both and I have simply tested which one is getting clicked and displayed a toast message so now let's see if this thing is working or not let's run this here from the top so now when I click show dialog here inside my emulator as you guys notice it says do you like this dialog you click outside it doesn't get cancelled this time and that is because of that statement which says set cancelable false here so how do you cancel this well actually you cannot cancel this in any way you click no there's gonna be a toast saying no button was clicked you click yes but nothing is happening you guys notice this dialog doesn't get dismissed at all so you have to manually call dismiss here once you have finished doing what you wanted to do so go here call dismiss at both the places so here the dismiss method takes care of dismissing the dialog this time when the user clicks on it now let's talk about this part over here communication obviously in a real scenario you're not going to display a toast message you probably want to send something back to the activity so let's see how that's done remove the toast from here both sides it's very simple it's the same enter fragment communication design pattern that I've talked about in my previous videos if you guys haven't seen that please go back and check that video out It's the same communicator design pattern that I'll be using here simple make an interface call it communicator have a method inside that says public void on dialog message something like this and it passes a string message inside this that's all we need to do next let's try to create a reference to this communicator interface here inside our dialog by saying communicator communicator and that should pretty much take care of things and then what we can have is an on attach method where we say on attach we can probably say something like communicator equals to activity we will try to assign the object of our activity to this communicator with the appropriate type casting now this will not work if your activity does not implement the communicator interface now I have discussed this purely in my other videos out there where I've talked about inter fragment communication if you guys are not sure about this please go back and check it out going back to our main activity here all I need to do is implement the communicator interface and then I can press R enter implement the methods click OK and this time here in my own dialog message let's see, try to understand what is going on here so what I have is basically a communicator interface that has one message a method saying on dialog message and what I'm trying to do here is assign a reference of our activity to that communicator so why do I do this well simple when the user clicks on the button what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna say communicator dot on dialog message and I'm gonna say no was clicked and the same way I'm gonna go down to the else part and copy paste the same statement where I'll say yes was clicked oops I think it was the other way around never mind let me go and change that so now whenever I launch this event from here by saying communicator dot on dialog message it's gonna go to our main activity call this on dialog message right here and inside this I can do whatever I want like for example I may have a text view in my activity where I wanna set the data or I can go back and put a toast here to indicate that it has come from over there so let me actually do that so this would perfectly complete our dialog working alright so let's run this again and try to find out what is going on remember in the dialog class my dialog whenever the dialog is about to be instantiated on attach will be called first the activities reference is obtained that reference is assigned to this communicator which contains an indirect reference to the activity now but it's actually not the activity it is just an implementation of the communicator interface so what we can do later is inside the on click we can use that a reference and then call the on dialog message which belongs to the communicator and that is gonna go here inside this activities part and run this code over here for us so let's run this and try to find out if this is working the way we said at this point my emulator is running up with the activity of ours click show dialog the dialog gets displayed and if you guys click outside it is not cancelled because set cancelable is false if you guys remember then if you click yes over here the dialog closes this time because dismiss is executed and as you guys see the toast over here which means that from here on clicking yes we went right here to this statement which called our main activity 
and executed this toast statement over there which you saw on the screen and that is how a simple dialog works now remember inside the my dialog.xml you can add anything you want because this is basically a custom layout of course you guys have noticed that the title is blank and there are certain things missing out there so in the next video we'll talk about the traditional way of making dialogs using alert dialog.builder class in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts in the comment boxes below and thanks for watching this video and support us in any way you can see you guys later have a nice day